So, um, a girl at work told me that I need to watch this movie. Uh, it just came out in the summer of this year. And I was like, wow, The Fault in Our Stars. And it just, I was like, cool, you know. And uh, I never had time to uh, watch the movie yet. But uh, I did find the uh, audio book on YouTube. And I downloaded it. And then I listened to probably two, at three hours maybe of it at work the other day. And, like, for one, The Fault in Our Stars stuck out to me. And then as I'm listening to this book, uh, there's a part where they celebrate or they, they, they make it a big deal, at least for like a tiny bit in the book, where it's, okay, well, let me tell you the whole story here. Basically, the story is about this 16-year-old girl with cancer, and it's kind of like she meets another kid that had cancer, and it's kind of like a little love story. But, uh, so she's 16, but they talk about March 29th, the 80th, 88th day of the year, and the they make it a big deal because March 29th is her 33rd half birthday. And they just kind of talk about it and they're like, whoop-de-doo, you know, like my half birthday. But so 16 is two eighths. And then March 29th is the 88th day. Also, um, you got the girl that, or the guy that she like falls in love with is Augustus Waters. So Augustus is August, so you got your eighth month, and then waters ha- can have to do with like Neptune. I just I found that crazy, and then I looked. So I went to the book here, and I clicked on the guy who wrote it. His name's John Green, and Green has been a big uh, topic as well, with, do with the eighty eights. Now check this out. He was born August twenty fourth, so twenty four can be three eighths. And August, 8th month, in 1977, so he is 37 years old. So you have another 37 connection to 88s, and he's, they're almost always born in August. I mean, I don't even care about the day here, whatever. This is the 8th month. They're almost always born then. It's, it's crazy. So uh, I'm going to go back here and just maybe check out the movie, too. Okay, so how interesting that this movie, oh, where was it here? It was released in the United States on June 6th. There you go. The Fall in Our Stars was released on June 6th in the United States. So you got your 66 again. The movie also has Willem Dafoe in it, and I just made a video on him uh, always playing the Antichrist in movies. And he just so happens to be in this movie. Like, really? I mean, how you can't even plan that, can I? I mean, I've, this guy, he's in so many crappy movies, too. Like, I can't even believe that he's in this movie. And, uh, like, I don't know, just, it just all connects somehow. It's weird. So, you check out the actors and actresses. Um, the main character here, she was born in November. I mean, it's always... A significant month, I've been saying. But uh, November 15th, so you have 11, 15, which is three ones, and then a five, which is five, five, five. And William, Willem Dafoe, he has fives surrounding him like crazy. She's also 22 years old, born in 1991. So you, I mean, that's your 9-11 reference. The kid who plays uh, Augustus in the movie was born on March 14th, which is the 73rd day of the year. Who knows? Um, I need to look. I mean, I'm just doing this on the on a whim here, but uh, literally, I mean, I haven't. I need to just watch the movie and uh, read finish the book before I do the a, a video. But uh, I just find it weird as I read through here, and like so, the whole point of the movie is that they want to the the main character girl, which I can't even think of her name. That's sad. But uh, Hazel, uh. She has like a famous au- or a, f- a favorite author, and he lives in Amsterdam. And basically, they they try to go meet up with him so she can find out like like what happens after this book that she had read. And he won't tell her unless it's in person. So uh, anyway, I don't know what happens. Like I mean, I guess I could read it in here, but um, they must eventually go, and they go to like the Anne Frank house, which Frank. Uh, 
I'd find that funny. But uh, also, so Will, Willem Dafoe uh, is the author, and he plays the author. But here it says they went, blah, 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 and then they came, they kissed or whatever, and then they came back. And then Augustus dies eight days later. No, he really, he dies eight days later. It couldn't have been seven days, like a week, or, I mean, what? Why eight days later? And then uh, the guy, the other guy shows up there, the the author shows up at his funeral because he wrote, he helped him write his eulogy. Uh, and then she looks up at the stars and remembers Augustus or whatever. Like I said, I just need to rewatch this. I need to watch the movie and finish the book. But, uh, I mean, it's... There's already numbers connected to it, and I haven't even really even taken a big stab at this, which is crazy. But uh, that's all I got to say. Peace.